now? Yeah, I know. It is so cold and this is going to be freezing. But let's go. It's cold. Like really cold. Like three degrees kind of cold. Yeah, we're in Florida just now and we're about to go dive the Florida Springs for the very first time and it is freezing. And I thought Florida was meant to be warm. Thought but, it was the sunshine state. But nope, it's absolutely freezing now, it's like 50 odd degrees, but the water is meant to be 72 degrees. So Which isn't all that warm. <laughs> hopefully it's gonna be a bit warmer, but we're about to dive the famous Blue Grotto in Florida. So you guys can enjoy this. Let's jump in and let's go explore the Blue Grotto and meet Virgil. Who's Virgil? The turtle. Oh, she didn't watch the safety didn't watch video. The safety video, but it said only one person had to watch it, so, so I, I was asleep. And I watched it because I'm a good instructor. <laughs> but let's go meet Virgil. Let's go meet Virgil and let's jump in. See ya. Bye guys. Bye. We are about to freeze. I think it'll be okay. I think you're over exaggerating. It's 72 degrees. <laughs> We're gonna freeze. <laughs> I can <laughs> feel it in my knees. It's gonna be muffled because the house is cold. when we jump in we start to see life in the blue grotto the blue grotto is a freshwater spring in florida located in gainesville which is 72 degrees year-round which for mark and i is pretty cold but these fish were absolutely everywhere you can see them all over the training platforms which those side mount divers will be using in just a little bit this makes it a good training dive site for students as it has a six meter platform perfect for skills Heading into the Blue Grotto, it reminds me a bit of a cenote in Mexico, with the light shining down from the sinkhole above. We made sure to really explore the grotto and head down into the deep, dark depths. And when I mean deep, I mean about 15 meters. Interestingly, there's actually a tree down here, or what used to be a tree, and is now just the remains of its bark. So we get a little clip of that before we head down a bit deeper. Here I am shining my light on a sign. I let Mark know to go down and take a look at what it says. It's ensuring that no recreational divers who are not cave certified continue onwards. If you look closely, you can actually see the dead scuba divers, just to make sure you really get the message. I'll put a little stop in here for you to look at the sign and read what it says. Continuing onwards, we just explore around and about the rocks of the Blue Grotto Cave. One of the features they put in to make it interesting for divers is this dolphin statue, which wasn't the most interesting thing I've ever seen in my life, but was definitely strange to see underwater, so a good addition to the Blue Grotto. What you heard there was me letting Mark know that I am freezing. Yet, it's only been about 10 minutes of the dive. I said earlier, 72 degrees is quite cold for us. We're about to head out into the blue again when we look at this little rock to see a gnome, another thing placed by a previous diver. the section we're about to go into. This is an underwater decompression chamber. It's filled with breathable air at 8 meters, so if you're doing tech diving or anything similar, you can decompress in the chamber safely and be able to talk to your buddies. It's a lot less boring than normal decompression. Now it's a little bit louder than we expected, so you'll hear us talk in there a little bit, just be aware that it's a tad bit loud.
Coming out of the chamber, we still need to do our 5 meter safety stop. So we had to go up into the shallows of the blue grotto, where all the fish really are. They're obviously very used to divers, because you can quite easily mess around and play with them, of course without touching them. And they do like to hang out in the shallows where there's plenty of sunlight. It must be a little bit warmer there. I saw Virgil the turtle, but he was really tucked up in some leaves at the top of the blue grotto, so we didn't get much footage of him, so nothing's included in here. But make sure if you do dive the site to look out for Virgil the turtle, because he is quite cute. So thanks for coming along today, we're just going to add a couple more clips at the end of this dive, and then at the end of the whole dive, when we get out the water, there'll be a bit of information about the dive sites and the anemones. So you can listen to Mark blabber on about that for a little bit. Thanks for coming. There's Baltic in there. Okay, we just come out from Wicked Dive on the Blue Grotto, going exploring it, going in the air bell, as you guys saw. I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of what is actually here and what you can actually use sort of in entities. So one of the great things we have behind me is the actual changing bays where you can park your car up, they have hangers and they also have the tables to rest your gear and then behind they also have benches as well where you can actually clip in your gear as well to sit and get ready like you do on a boat which is awesome. We have fresh hot showers for you which is awesome but you have to rinse your feet before you go in. Also, for any instructors coming, they also have a pool for training as well, which is just behind me. As you can see, some divers are in there actually practicing their side mount skills. So there's lots here for divers to come and experience and stay in a great training facility as well. Hi, <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> what do you think of the dive? It was good. Well, do you see the turtle? We saw Virgil the turtle, but he was right at the end. Mm -hmm. There's loads of fish. There's a bit you go deeper part, it's cave trained, so you don't let you go beyond that. But the light up was really awesome, wasn't it? Yeah, and the fish got really close to you and you could play with them. 
and also what do you think of the uh, air bubble thing like the what do you call that it was louder than dome. i expected but the gnome was cool the little gnome was cool and the dolphin statue as well we should do that but i really hope you guys <laughs> i really hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode she is frozen yeah so i need to get her in some heat see Bye. you guys next week <laughs> she was not joking when she said she was freezing this car is roasting feels good <laughs> that one's a bit cold but we're gonna go dive divers then next. You ready for that? Let's head across and we'll see you that next week guys.